Joining me right now, AccuWeather Leap Hurricane expert Alex De Silva. And, you know, Alex, before we get into the specifics, uh, one thing that's just kind of eye popping here as I call this up is the water temperature anomalies, not the actual water temperatures, but the actual water temp temperature anomalies. Water temperatures now compared to the historical average for the last 30 years, and it's really eye popping how warm these waters are. It's very impressive out there right now, Bernie. Taking a look at the water temperatures, it's basically bathtub water across most of the Atlantic Basin, and it's just going to continue to get warmer and warmer. Last year was the warmest season on record in terms of sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic Basin, and right now we are outpacing 2023. And the one thing I noticed, Alex, is that uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a ribbon of colder water along the southeast coast of the United States. It looks as though that's actually kind of turned around in the last few weeks. Yeah, sometimes if the winds really pick up, we sometimes get like an onshore wind. Yeah. It can actually mix up the water a little bit and can actually bring cooler waters up to the surface. We call that upwelling. Usually doesn't last too long, and as you saw in the last graphic there, it looks like those waters have rebounded very, very quickly and are back to their bathtub levels. Well, I mentioned that because let's take you into the southeastern, off the southeast coast of the United States. This is that upper low that moved across the southeast. Now it's over the warmer waters, but this is running out of time to develop, isn't it? It is. It's over the Gulf Stream, so it's got plenty of warm water to work with. Unfortunately for the system, it's dealing with a lot of wind shear, southwest to northeast wind shear. So this thing's probably just going to get pulled apart as it continues to move to the north and east. I'm not too concerned about development. Even if it does develop, it looks like it's going to be heading out into the Atlantic, away from the U.S. Let's head down toward the Central America and, uh, um, and, and Mexico, where we've seen a growing area of showers and thunderstorms nothing organized but it's a pretty large area of showers and thunderstorms alex yeah this time of year you we get what we call the gyre central american gyre to develop across the central american countries it's a giant area of spin and you can see that there by the cluster of thunderstorms there so sometimes what we get is an area to break off from that gyre and move to the north into the, the western caribbean or gulf of mexico and that's exactly what we're going to see here over the Father's Day weekend and into early next week. We're going to see a cluster of thunderstorms break out into the Bay of Campeche, and it looks like it has a really good shot of development here. Low wind shear, you can take a look at the graphic right here. Plenty of purple to the north of the Gulf of Mexico in the northern part, but in that southwestern Gulf of Mexico in the uh, Bay of Campeche there, low wind shear can't allow this thing to develop. Yeah, we kind of went and, and we upgraded this yesterday, Alex, to a high threat for development. This is going to likely, unless something happens off the southeast coast of the United States, this is going to be our next storm or our first storm, correct? Yeah, it looks that way. It's nice and warm in the southwestern uh, Gulf of Mexico. And actually, as a matter of fact, that area, look at how it's shaped like a bowl, that mm. southwestern Gulf of Mexico. That can actually help to induce spin, the shape of the coastline there. So we actually see a lot of development in that area. And the shape of the coastline there, that kind of roundness to it, can actually help to induce spin, interestingly enough. All right, AccuWeather lead hurricane expert Alex De Silva. Thank you again for joining us. Lots, lots to look for over the next week to 10 days.